We're into October and the Brazilian spirit has well and truly taken over Burnley. Hello and welcome back to the channel, welcome to another episode of this FM23 series uh, with Burnley getting them into that Brazilian spirit, Brazilian mind, sexy entertainment, fluid football, uh, fluid flowing football shall I say, getting them back to the Prem and higher than ever before hopefully, as you can see, yeah, into October, uh, October 1st, so yeah, right into it, exactly, and yeah, top of the league, 10 games in, 3 points clear, going lovely, where were we left off last time with a 3-0 win over Millwall, and since then, yeah, a 2-0 win against Norwich was disappointing, uh, it was a close game, though. You know, it is what it is. But since then, connected very well. There were no more signings as well to go over. Uh, so, yeah, 3-1 against Preston. One from Parrot for them. Uh, Jao Pedro, Josu, and Teller with the goals for us. Jao Pedro's been tearing up. One against uh, Preston there against Bristol City. A 4-0 win. Jao Pedro got braced. One for Marquinhos. One for Hold Bellis. Lovely. <laughs> one more if you want. And then against West Brom, which I thought would be a really hard game, uh, just a 5-1 win. Xiao Pedro got his hat-trick, Marquinhos scored, Josu scoring again as well, which is lovely to see. And yeah, that leaves us top. Xiao Pedro's firing, I think he's on to seven goals. Eight goals even uh, for Marquinhos, seven for Xiao Pedro, yeah. And the lads are playing very well. And today, hopefully, we'll be playing very well against Cardiff, 14th in the league. So, fingers crossed, uh, lining up with the 4 triple 2 as always. Uh, Murek and Gull, Vitinho, Hard, Bellis, Bayer and Martin, Cullen and Brown who have been switched over and they've both been playing a lot better since they've been switched over so I'm glad I did that. Uh, I just I just see personally see Cullen as more of a playmaker but he's just better as a ball winner here and Brown who's better as a playmaker so okay. Josu on advanced playmaking support instead of attack he's playing playing better uh, and then Gomez, Pedro Marquinhos. And yeah, got a nice bench. I've given Marco his official nickname Marco San Bastian. His name, Marco's not even in his name really but that's what I call him. And yeah, without further ado, let's jump in this game and hopefully get a win and show you how well we're playing. Hopefully. Throw in, and this is Cardiff with it. Nelson takes the throw into the box. It's deep. Hard bells with a good clearance. We get there. Oh, he can't. Nelson gets it back in. Headed away by Rodrigo Gomez. Come on, lads, get it away. <laughs> Cardiff right back at it. And a motor out wide to Nk. It's a Philogen Biddens across. Oh, tap in. Sweating it, Gnotto. Oh, Gnoni bastards. 1-0 card if 11 minutes. Disappointing start. We just let them we just let them play around us, honestly. We didn't get out quick enough. We weren't snappy enough in the into tackle, into pressing. Uh this boy, but we're right on it from the kickoff. Hopefully he gets something immediately. Martin ball forward, headed away by Ngungu. Uh but we get it back. Cullen on the ball. Chips it over to Marquinhos, who headers it in. He's offside there. He definitely looks offside. Yeah, oh, it's nearly the instant reply, but that's good. Just keep up that pressure. I'll give a bit of encouragement out here. Just keep up that pressure, lads. Keep up that good playing, that good interpassing, uh, and hopefully get a nice quick equaliser to be perfect. Uh, maybe here, Bayer on the ball, Jean Bayer is just going to stand on it for a while. <laughs> Thinking about what to do, and he decides to pass to Robinson of the other team, but we win it back, thankfully. Uh, Brownhall on the ball. Just Brownhall goes to his left hand side to Ian Martz and the Chelsea Loney. It's gonna go back. Yep, in the end to John Bayer to Brownhall quickly back to Bayer to Martson. Bayer has picked up the speed. That's a poor pass from Martson. Cardiff easily intercept and they pump it forward. Hopefully we can get there. Hold Bellis does really nice control. <laughs> goes to Jordan Bayer. Ian Martson on his left. Back to Bayer. Those two love passing to each other. Brownhill. They get the ball out of the way. Rodrigo Gomez chips over the top to Josu. What a ball. What a run. And what a miss. Josu. I'm, I'm honestly surprised he had the pace to get in behind like that. But he couldn't do anything with it. He missed it. He should have scored. And now Cardiff have a chance. And they score. Perry and G. Puts it away. Oh, it's our own fault. We've had chances. We just haven't done anything with them. And now Cardiff double. Their lead, we're going to have to claw back into this and quickly. Corner, Josu, playing into the box. And Harwood oh, Bellis' header at the near post is over. <laughs> We've had chances. We're all over them if you look at the stats. Uh, more shots, better XG, what, much more possession. We've had two thirds of the ball. But they have the goals because we're letting them have it. We're letting them play around us. They're beating us aerially in the fence. They're, 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 they're lapping us aerially, honestly. And so, half hour gone, and we're 2-0 down to Cardiff, and 
I don't know if I have the faith right now for us to turn it around. I'm going to go attacking. Uh, really just try and get in there. And Cardiff, take the opportunity. And another free kick over the ball. Aerially, they're just dominating us here. And so, yeah, remove the team instructions and get stuck in. We're giving away set pieces. And they just, they just, they own the air. <laughs> you know? <laughs> uh, they own the air. And they're doing it with a bit of encouragement, lads. Like, come on. What is this? You're embarrassing me in front of the viewers. I beat West Brom 5-1 last game. I should have recorded that one. I knew I should have recorded that one. <laughs> Instead, you're watching us get bumped by Cardiff Bloody City 2-0. And it might be free. Rouse into the box. And it's another set piece and another goal. Rina Mahata. What is going on? I have no idea what's happened to this team today. I apologise on their behalf. Because what is this? Honestly, 3-0 down to Cardiff. When we're so on top, this is the only problem with this team right now. They're playing well. But they just, you know, they get on top, but they don't do anything with it. You know? And I don't know what to change. You take Josu off, he's not had the best game. You maybe push Josh Brownhill a bit further forward. I don't want to do that. But I will. And I'll bring on Marco Sambastian. I'll play him as an advanced playmaker instead of a deep-lying one. Try and get him a bit further up the pitch to try and make something. Jao Pedro is not having a good game, but at the same time... He's on goal-scoring form. If we're going to get a goal, it's going to be him or Marquinhos. Lads, you have the ability to make a real difference for us, and I really need you to do it. So Rodrigo Gomez as well. You're young, but you have the ability. I know you do. You three guys, especially, I know, have that in your arsenal to go out there, put on a good performance, and get us a goal to get back into this. But right now, it's not happening. And Cardiff City against the run of play against the odds it doesn't matter oh three nil up ready to give us a second defeat of the season ready to let norwich catch up to us on points and nearly catch us on goal difference because of the size of this deficit i can give a bit of encouragement you know tell the lads to press a little more play a bit more you know maybe lessen the short passing push higher up just try and make something don't play for set pieces okay that's another, ugh. you know, I've got to work on myself as well here, obviously. They've got us aerially, so playing for set pieces isn't going to go well, but... Just come on, lads. There's got to be something, hasn't there? Gel Pedro, awful game today. I don't know what's wrong with him. Nathan Teller, get on that pitch, mate. Honestly. Cardiff on the ball. Perry NG pumps it forward. Bayer gets there. Goes to Marco Sambastian. To Martson. Jordan Bayer. To Martson. Ian Martson surging forward. That's a good run from the Dutchman. Pass one. Nearly pass. Well, pass two. Gets to Marquinhos. To Sam Bastian. Has a go. And nearly channeling his namesake there with an absolute beauty. Not meant to be, though. Lads, we're working the ball into the box, remember? Beauties are all well and good when you're 3 0 up. When you're 3 0 down, I prefer you just put the ball into the back of the net anyway, anyhow. You know? Right. I don't know. <laughs> Another problem is I have not had the time to fully just put my stamp on the team. So there's a lot of players here I'd rather not use. Like, Will Hugel, though, young player, a lot of potential. Get him on. Marquinhos has had a bad game. So I bring on Dara Costello. Maybe switch those around. Yeah, apparently, yes. Uh, and one more. Let's bring on Connor Roberts here for... Um, Ian Martson, just because he's on a yellow card, you know, 3 nil down, a chance to lose your head, maybe. Switch those round. But yeah, it's just, it's not, it's not hip-hop happening today, right now at least. I apologise. Hopefully in the second game of this episode, uh, we can get a performance akin to what I've been seeing. A bit more encouragement, okay? Maybe just playing positive. If I don't want to play positive because we need to be attacking. We need to be going for it. But it's just not, it's not worked against Cardiff, sadly. And credit to them, but mainly uh, a discredit to us, I would say, personally. As this game's just going to wind down to a close here, I think.
Free kick here, 88th minute though, feels a little too late, but a constellation perhaps. Brownhill, plenty of space to aim at. Goes for a cross, it bounces around Rodrigo Gomez, drags it into the area, and smashes it in. Right, I'm just happy for Rodrigo Gomez there. It's going to mean nothing, but I'm happy that the youngsters grabbed another goal. Help his confidence a little bit. You know, he has played very well. It does annoy me even more because it means our XG is better than theirs. More shots, better XG, 60% to 39% possession. Uh, this is definitely a game I feel like we should have won. At the very least, we should have drawn. We definitely should not have lost, but yet here we are. A 3-1 defeat to Cardiff City. Not happy, lads. Should have won. Based on the chances we had, based on everything, we should have won, but we didn't. We let them get the better of us. And that's that's on us. That's on me, and that's on the players. I'm not happy. <laughs> Don't know if you can tell. I'm not happy with that. Uh, hopefully, though, there will be a better performance uh, coming up. Um, when this process is, I can have a look. I think it's against Stoke. I want to say it's against Stoke City. Um, I could be very off the board there. But Stoke sounds familiar. It is Stoke, actually, yeah. It is Stoke. Oh, maybe I should... I probably should wait till Coventry, who are bottom. Oh, Big Sam's in charge, of course he is. I should wait till bloody Coventry, who are bottom, to get a nice big win to end things happy. Uh, but I won't. I'll rest the lads. Hopefully we'll come back better and stronger than ever. Again, Stoke, who are 18th. Not had the best start to the season of Stoke City. Playing very defensive, though. Uh, that's not what I want to look at. I don't know where to go for what I want to look at, though. Um, yeah, a hit and miss record. Poor start to the season. They picked it up a little bit, but hopefully... Um, hopefully, good result for us. Fingers crossed. Well, without further ado, let's jump forward to that game against Stoke and hopefully do much better here. And here we are, ready to take on Stoke. Surprisingly, after that performance, I am going to go with an unchanged team, um, which surprises me a little bit. <laughs> but I do have faith in them. Even despite what you just witnessed against Cardiff, I'm going to choose to believe that was a one-off. And now, setting myself up for another fail, you're about to see some really good football, hopefully. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Without further ado, let's just jump into this game with Stoke. By a free kick by the halfway line. Goes long for Pedro. He's not going to be able to get there. But the keeper could have caught that. But instead he clears it with his foot. And we get the ball right back from it. I don't know why he did that. I, don't, I won't complain. Patinho to Harwood Bellis. Out to Patinho. He's going to take it. Past his man Patinho. But his man's hunting him down. But he's past it. Right. No, I'm sorry. I don't care where this highlight ends up now. <laughs> Patinho, mate. What is that? This position right here. Right. Banging across. Marquinhos is right there. Whip it in. Onto him. Beautiful. Back here. What was that? That's Josu. Get to him. He can do something with it. Right. Last thing you should do, Vitinho. Gently pass it to Ben Wilmot. Last thing he should do. Ben Wilmot is um, not going to give it right back, sadly. Unfair, mate. And so... Oh, Josu wins it back well, though. Jao Pedro can have a go. Uh, I'd call it our waste. But after seeing what... Uh, what the team here just did. That that was a much better use of the ball, honestly. Flint. Free kick. Forward. Bayer gets there. Rodrigo Gomez. Yeah, stack to Bayer. Rodrigo Gomez has been very nice for us. He's just a tidy little player, isn't he? Roundhill to Howard Bellis. To Bayer. Howard Bellis. Bayer. Martson. Charging forward. Martson. Martson to Josu. Through ball to Jao Pedro. In behind. Misses. Oh, my word. <laughs> I mean, Martin doing much better than our other fullback in Vitinho. <laughs> That's what he did. Um, but still... oh, That's just like the Josu chance against Cardiff. Another good chance where they just can't get on target. Josu with a corner. Headed wide. Cleared. But Brownhall picks up the loose ball. Loses it to Campbell. Punted away. But it's going to be collected by Ian Martin. He's going to go on a run. He loves to go on a run, this young man. <laughs> Oh, cross box, but he gets it back into the box for Jao Pe Beautiful. Come on, lads. 1-0. Ian Martson determined to get forward. He gets tackled. He wins it back in that beautiful position. Look at him. At the halfway line, he picks it up and he just charges forward. Stoker trying to get to him. In the end, they do. His attempted pass in there, inset by Gale, but then he just nips into Gale. Gale's not quick enough. And in this position, 
Martson, the Stoke players, have thought Gale's got it, and they've they've gone away. And they've left Jao Pedro unmarked. Roll it across, tapped in. 35 minutes, Burnley won, Stoke City nil. Finally, my word. Ian Martson, could we change his nationality to Brazilian? I'd quite like to keep him, I think. <laughs> Martson's off the side of the pitch hurt, which is, of all things, the worst sign possible to me. Right after I say I'd like to keep him. Uh, Gale gives it away again, though, to Rodrigo Gomez. Martin's back on the pitch. <laughs> right back onto it. This man, he'll be coming off last time because I can't bear to watch him limp around. <laughs> Hopefully he's not out for too long, but we're on the ball. Just Brownhill. Through ball to Jao Pedro. What a ball. What a run. What a finish. There we go. That's what you should have done the first time. Instead of near post wide, just smash it across goal. You've got the power. A little cartwheel. In stoppage time, Burnley 2, Stokes nil. Xiao Pedro again. You're seeing what that young man can do. You're seeing why we paid the big bucks for him, and he's not even in his final form. Very happy, lads. Uh, Ian Martson, man of the match so far. Sadly, you will have to come off. I'm so sorry. Vatinho, go to the left and do better than you've done on the right. Connor Roberts on the pitch. Really good game from Ian Martson, though. So big shout out to him. But uh, sadly, you will have to come off. But yeah, 2-0 up at half-time. Hopefully, keep a hold of this lead. Timing on the ball for Stoke. Throw in. Phil Jagielka punts it forward. But Roberts, the sub, is just going to take it. Yeah. Just pass it back to Murek. Yeah, just safety. Murek wide to Bayer. Switching play. Vitinho on that ball. Going forward. Switch to the left-hand side. And just punts it forward. What a ball. What a run. What a touch. What a ball. What a finish. Okay. I, I might have spoke too soon on the finish part. It lagged for a second. And maybe I was just a bit hopeful. That would have been a beautiful goal. Vitinho just lumps it. Which is a bit more route one than I'd like this team to play. But Marquinhos made a beautiful run. Got it to Jao Pedro. And in this position, I'd quite like it if Jao Pedro puts it away. On his weak foot, you know trying to sprint to it i will give him the benefit of the doubt there but it's really good we're playing really well we're well on top and we're two nil up so i won't complain too much all right 66th minute two thirds of the way through this game subs to be made rodrigo gomez is on a yellow and a bit tired he'll come off uh bring on nathan teller yeah uh josh cullen also a bit tired uh, just Brownhill's on a yellow card, but he's playing really well, so I'll keep him on. We'll bring on Will Hugel, youngster. Yeah, and um, we'll just leave it at that for now. We'll leave it at that for now. We'll save our other two subs. No need to rush them. We're 2 0 up. And that could go sideways at any point, so I'd like to keep them just for now. Teller gets the loose ball, but nope, Liam Delap does. Liam Delap at Stoke City, of course. Bombs forward. Nathan Teller, strong tackle. Vitinho charges forward past his men into the box. Through ball to Marquinhos is on and he gets there. And Marquinhos puts it away. That Brazilian link up. Vitinho of a great run. Playing much better at left back, actually. Maybe it's just that left back side. Maybe Stoker's really bad down the right. Really good run from Vitinho. A really good tackle from Teller to start things. I'll shout that out as well. Good ball. Good run, Marquinho. Slots it away. 3 0. Flying, cruising, whatever adjective you want to use to describe what this team and what this squad is doing right now. Go right ahead. I'm um, just keeping an eye on fitnesses. John Bayer's tired, so it's hard of Bellis. I don't want to take off both centre-backs. I will take off one of them. Bayer's the most tired, so I will bring off John Bayer. I'll just give him a moment. I want to take, uh, you know, I'd rather make all my subs right now. Uh, and so I will. Bayer's going to come off. Luke McNally on. And one more. Josu, maybe. He's had the right game. Uh, Josh Brown was very tired. Let's get him off. Let's get Marco Sambastian. I like. I, I just like Marco Sambastian. The power of giving a player a nickname to make you really like them. <laughs> get on that pitch, Marco. Get on that pitch. Goal kick. Bursic goes forward with it. Stoke trying to get it back. Bursic. No, Bursic is Stoke. Stoke trying to keep it. Josu. Good ball to Marquinhos. Heavily marked. It goes wide to Roberts. Ball forward to Marquinhos. What a ball. Headed away. But Luke Baker does get there. Oh, Stoke on the ball. Connor Roberts wins it really well. Gets tackled but wins it back. Battle on this side. Hugo on the ball. Back to Harwood Bellis. Harwood Bellis. Just going to go back. Yep, to Luke Manali. 
trying to they were very compact on this side nathan tellers marquinhos though plenty of space on that side oh wrong type of finish he tried to place it that position you gotta just blast it i think into stoppage time four minutes hopefully this game just plays out or oh, not bursic on the ball for stoke i spoke too soon jaggy elka big phil forward you know poor ball from this from this guy he's had a poor game hasn't he Jao pedro poor pass but marquinhos intercepts really well plenty of space for teller who gets onto it and slots it home really happy for teller he's, he's come on he's had a really nice little spell not starting a lot of games lovely knee spide uh, not starting a lot of games but playing really well when he does showing what he can do uh yeah gets his goal there he doesn't have an assist but his tackle for the third goal is integral really pleased with him uh and just really happy overall a really good performance here a 4-0 win makes me feel a lot better after that cardiff game i wanted you to actually see how good this team was martin got mad a match as well which i'm really happy because he was playing really well hopefully he's not out for long we'll we'll, we'll have a look at that after i give out my praises uh because yeah i think a good turn deserves a good praise so all of you guys did well well we got an 8.3 we got an 8.6 an 8.5 really pleased with you lot uh, and Ian, Ian, excellent. Excellent as ever, Martin. 4 0. Okay, that's got the taste of that Cardiff game out of my mouth. Really happy. Really happy. Another dominant performance, another big win. You know, what more could you want? Uh, Ian is out for four to ten days. It's not long, thankfully. You know, we're already paying Joe Pedro's goal bonus. Ian, really happy. You know, you were really good. As yes, top of the league one point clear uh i'm interested in the like the team stats you know i feel like we have a, a lot of shots we have a lot of dribbles that's very brazilian of us most possession nearly we have so much of the ball i thought we'd be a bit higher just overall playing really well and long may it continue we'll be back next time just before the world cup break uh so sheffield united and blackburn uh ending off with the big derby against blackburn yeah, perfect game perfect game for that uh, but that's next time that's it for today i hope you have enjoyed our strong start to the season continues and long may it continue to get us out of this league and to bring this beautiful beautiful football we're playing into the premier league uh, i hope you have enjoyed though because that's it for today i hope you have uh, leave a like if you have enjoyed and subscribe for more to not list a single episode in this quest to bring to bring brazilian burnley to greatness and add another star to that beautiful beautiful badge and yeah Leave a like if you have enjoyed, subscribe more, and as always, I just want to say a very special thank you for watching.